Guanchara. Guess what? I'm going to use guanciale. If you can't find guanciale, you can use pancetta. If you can't find pancetta, you can use bacon. I don't care what you use. It doesn't matter. The principle to making this dish is exactly the same. The only thing that matters is that you don't scramble your eggs. And that means just before you put your egg and cheese in, which is Pecorino Romano, just wait a minute before you put it in. That's it. Mix it up. If you're too dry, you add a touch of pasta water. If you're too wet, you add a touch more cheese. This is a super simple recipe. People try to overcomplicate it. There is nothing complicated about this recipe. You can make it. Let's do it. Some people like to use yolks, not bites. I prefer four eggs for a pound of pasta. It always works. Cheese. Let's get it all in there. Okay, and we're gonna mix this up. We're gonna leave it. Now you can put your pepper in right now too. I just put it on at the end. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, so either way is fine. See the other one? Two tablespoons of salt. So there's what we decided on. Love this rigatoni. Make sure you give it a quick stir for 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Do not put any oil in the water ever. What'll happen is your pasta, like, you know, the carbonara, the egg, the cheese will not be able to stick to it. It'll slide off. So don't put, there's no reason to ever put oil in the pasta water. Okay, let's let this heat up. Now we're just gonna add a touch of olive oil. I mean, just a touch. We don't need any, really anything because there's so much fat in this guanciale, but we gotta let it render out. It's a good way to start it. Right away you can see it's releasing a lot of that fat. I'm gonna cook it medium, medium low. Not gonna go crazy with it. And I'm not gonna have the expectation of getting all of the fat out of this. So keep that in mind when you cook it. It's pretty much done now, so I'm getting my heat real low. It's exactly how I want it. Crisped up like that, but still like that gelatinous inside of the guanciale. You're not gonna get all the fat out. If you wanna get all the fat out of this, it's gonna take you 40 minutes and it's gonna to turn to nothing because you saw the pieces how when I started, there was barely, you know, it's mostly fat. So you can test your pasta as you're cooking it. Don't ever trust the package instructions. Although, like I said, the checker is very, very accurate. You can, if you put your pasta in a colander, which a lot of people do, and I do this on my website, and I say this to people, save a couple cups of pasta water. You're not gonna need that much for this dish at all, but it's just always added insurance really important tool it's like five dollars you get a better one on amazon probably for ten dollars spider we're going to be able to pull this out we're going to put it right in perfect if you can't find one of those one of these works all right but a spider is better all right guys so i'm going to add a ladle of pasta water we don't need any more than that right now we have to thin later, we will add more, more in. If for some reason we're too loose, we're gonna add more cheese in. It's as simple as that. We're gonna cook the pasta, the al dente pasta, in the guanciale fat. If you got a bigger pan, give it a toss. At maximum capacity right here. And we're gonna let this fat, the guanciale fat, coat the pasta. Okay guys, egg cheese mixture. Let's get it in. Okay, just stir it as quickly as you can. Don't worry about it if you lose a piece or two like I just did. Now if you want it drier, here I'm gonna bring it up. 
If you want it drier than that, which I don't recommend, you can add more cheese in. So what's gonna happen is, see there's a little bit of liquid there? A little bit. It's gonna dry out in two minutes when you're calling people downstairs. Okay, and you're calling them to come here. What I do, though, recommend is adding a little bit more pepper. I love pepper on this. Locatelli, that's it. Oh. Oh.